Good evening and welcome to Star News, where once again we join you with breaking news on a fire that occurred at Southern Finishing in the city of Martinsville. Our own Bob Sharp, who has been on the scene, giving us video and updates all throughout the evening, is now joining us on the set. Bob, good to have you with us. It is, Scott, and this is good news. I, I don't know what kind of damage was done, but you can tell from the initial video, obviously there was quite a bit of smoke in and around that area, but I'm sure the quick response from the fire departments and volunteer and personnel were very, um, um, just, you know, you know how they, when you're that close and they get in there, and these folks, another thing I think, you know, and you and I talked about this last week, one of the differences, this plant being that well occupied, so there were people in there, and that probably helped them to discover it maybe quicker than the one that we saw last week and how much damage that did. Indeed, that makes a huge difference. Uh, you've got, well, a couple of major things, I think, working to the advantage here in this case. First of all, as you said, this is a currently up and running furniture manufacturing facility. That means you've got personnel in there who are actually on shift working. It also means that you've got up to date fire suppression apparatus within the building. Um, I'm not sure of this, but I would think probably some kind of a sprinkler system there. You're going to have uh, fire extinguishers which are up to date and have been checked and tested, uh, ready to be used by personnel. And I know that there are uh, employees, supervisors and employees in furniture plants that are trained to deal with small scale fires. Uh, these you know, fires happen almost daily, I'd say, in furniture manufacturing facilities. Typically they're small scale, however, but uh, in this case if something does get out of hand, this is also in the city of Martinsville where you have a full-time, fully staffed professional uh, firefighting team, so uh, that makes a huge difference as well. And they were, of course, had the other, they alert the other fire departments in the area and the trucks just in case this were to get somewhat out of hand. Or, 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 but they were very, very quick on the scene and able to isolate it. And, and I think as you've talked to some folks, they pretty much contained it or put it out, hadn't they? And, um, you know, Bob, I know I, I could certainly see how you were very concerned about this, seeing all this smoke. There really is a lot of smoke here. It really was. It just looks like it could come through the roof at, at any time. And it, probably a lot of that smoke is where they're inside putting some water on and extinguishing it too. And that's something we see a lot, particularly with um, fires that are in an enclosed area like this. And I think most especially with, um, with furniture fires. I know in my time working uh, here covering news with the station, also when I worked for the city of Martinsville, I uh, went to a number of fires at furniture facilities and in large industrial buildings like this and often you'd get there and there would be so much smoke you couldn't hardly see the building you couldn't see uh, anything inside you think wow this must be a big fire and then you get in there and once they finally get it under control there's like you know one or two machines that uh, are, are damaged badly and everything else is pretty much fine so um, seeing this I could see how anybody from the street would be very alarmed but as uh, we're told, it seems that this was uh, brought under control pretty quickly, and the uh, blaze itself was mainly contained to a small machine containing lacquer in the finishing room of this facility. And of course, while this fire was going on, we uh, heard the alerts, and one of the dire stores uh, trucks had to be pulled off to um, their, their uh, church there in Axon off Stony Mountain Road. And our own Jessica Robinson, I should mention, is uh, working on that right now. We are expecting some photos here in just a moment uh, from that scene, and she's going to give us some updates as well. Uh, we understand uh, a potentially pretty bad fire there at that uh, church on Stony Mountain Road. We're, we're being told now, we haven't 100% confirmed this, but we're being told now that uh, we believe it's the Morning Star Church uh, there on Stony Mountain Road. But... Um, Bob, you know, I'm glad that we didn't see anything like we saw last week, that's for sure. Uh, that, was, that was some intense fire last week, and um, thankfully, you know, here we've got uh, people working, which is a positive thing. We've got a, a plant that is staying open despite the odds of an economic downturn and offshoring and all this. The last thing we want to see is anybody put out of work. That's for sure, and there were a lot of employees there that uh, um, were evacuated and you, I could just tell it since that they were concerned and they wanted to you know just see how bad it was because it could certainly be detrimental to their job situation. Indeed um, we were able to talk a little bit with uh, officials from 
uh, the city about this fire. I, I know that things are pretty busy, they're pretty hectic when you're on the scene. Uh, did you have a chance to speak with anyone while you were out there? Not of, officially. Uh, we did talk with several of the employees. Uh, we really didn't have access to get in there with them. There you can see the storm that was brewing and it was causing all the wind, uh, which in that other fire last week obviously was part of fueling the fire because we had about 20, 25 mile an hour winds. Well, it was getting gusty here, but they uh, appeared to have had it uh, pretty much contained at that time. So wind did not seem to be a factor, and thank goodness. Hmm, indeed. Well, Bob, we certainly appreciate you bringing us these updates. Uh, keep us posted. We hope to hear from back from the, uh, the Marshall Fire Department momentarily. I know they're very busy right now, uh, so we're going to give them plenty of time, uh, plenty of room there, but uh, we hope to hear from them uh, this evening, or if not, we will certainly be back in touch with uh, fire officials from the city of Martinsville tomorrow to give you a complete rundown on this after they've had some time to uh, kind of sort this all out and do a little investigation. Uh, excellent job there uh, reporting from the scene and bring us that great video, Bob. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, folks. Bob Sharp there uh, has been bringing us footage all uh, throughout this fire and keeping us uh, posted with updates. We certainly appreciate that. And we'll be back with more breaking news right here on Star News in just a moment.